Every time the Olympics come around, people get excited to watch some of their favorite athletes who they don't normally see outside of the Olympic Games. And this year, Simone Biles was that athlete that everyone was looking forward to watching. But after she withdrew from some of the events due to mental health reasons, it sparked up a heavy conversation around mental health and athletes. Today, I got the chance to speak with Olympic figure skater Gracie Gold, who shares a lot in common with Simone's story. The Olympics are a competition that rewards perfection. The best athletes on the biggest stage competing in front of the world. For Olympic figure skater Gracie Gold, that reality is all too familiar. Once crowned America's ice princess, Gold fell from the spotlight in 2017 amidst an ongoing battle with depression, anxiety, and an eating disorder. When I withdrew because I knew that the risk versus reward you know, putting myself through the training, you know, to get to nationals and actually going through the events was not worth the toll that it was going to take on my mental health. Gold did something few athletes had the courage to do. She stepped away from her sport to focus on her mental well-being. And now, after taking time to work on herself, Gracie is making a comeback and is using her story to shed a light on these issues for other athletes. There are ways to be helped. There are ways to get help. There are things to do to make life better and that being vocal about them you know the response that the people around you have to it that says everything about them that says nothing about you and your mental health and what you've done while there's no shortage of drama in the olympics stories like gracie's aren't ones you hear very often but this year, Simone Biles made headlines after withdrawing from several events due to mental health reasons. Her decision sparked a conversation between those who chose to view her as nothing more than an athlete and those who chose to support her. Your mental health is as valid as your physical health. So if you would not hide an injury of the physical body, you should in no way feel like you need to hide an injury of your psyche and your mental well-being. But while the empty critiques come from people who will likely never achieve the athletic greatness of Simone or Gracie, the invalidation of mental health in athletics can have a widespread impact. You know, Simone might not hear your thoughts or read specifically your thoughts on her decision, but your friends, your family, the people around you that are still struggling in silence, they, they hear your thoughts because there is no... You know, said before, there is no Olympic medal for who can suffer in silence the longest. So as we look to the future of both the Olympics and of athletics as a whole, the hope is that the dialogue can continue to grow around mental health, that athletes can feel just as comfortable going to get help for their mental well-being as they would to go get physical therapy. And as conversations continue to grow, people like Gracie and Simone are building a community, working to redefine what it means to be an athlete. Yeah, some people like Simone and Gracie are continuing that conversation around mental health and athletes. And if you want to learn more about mental health resources, we have information on that up on our website. Reporting in the newsroom, Christian Saez. Sean, back to you.